if you're going traveling there are a certain number of apps that will make your traveling experience so much easier stress-free and i want to share them with you right now hi i'm Stu, the older backpacker and for the last 10 years i spent four of them backpacking around the world and there are so many travel apps that you can use. I'm going to share 10 of them with you to make it so much easier to make your travel experience that much better. So number one, Skyscanner. This app is the one you use to get your cheap flights to start your adventure. It's a simple app. Once you've loaded it up, you just put in the destination where you're going from to where you're going to it will scan the whole of the internet searching for cheap flights for you the downside to skyscanner is if you're going to be using a budget airline it doesn't factor in the fact that you will have baggage and baggage is not included in the price the one thing that i love about skyscanner if you are the adventurous type is you can put in the place you're flying from and then you can add in everywhere and a look at every single country and the cheapest ones to fly to from where you're flying from. Now, although Skyscanner is the daddy of search engines for cheap flights, the second app I would use is Kiwi.com, an app I usually use for a second opinion because sometimes Skyscanner does miss out on cheaper flights. But with Kiwi.com, you have the added bonus of actually telling them that you have baggage, you have check bags uh, to take on the flight, um, and they will incorporate this into the price. That's the two flight apps that I use for when I've been going backpacking. Now that you've got your flight organised, you need to get accommodation and as a backpacker, you'll be staying in a hostel. So the next app is Hostel World. This lists all the hostels in the world. For this, all you need to do is put in a city, town that you're staying in and it'll list all the hostels in that place. It'll give you a bit of information about the hostel itself and then you can book it online through the app. Now, if you are going off the beaten track and there is a town city where there is no hostels, the next best app is booking.com. It's worldwide and it does have cheap hotels and sometimes it even has hostels on there that is not even listed on Hostel World. So there's two apps that you can use for accommodation both apps are very easy to use and i could spend the next sort of five ten minutes going through it all but it's better for you to find out yourself and if you've got any questions on how to use the apps just ask them in the comments below this video once you flew into the country and you've got your accommodation the one thing that you need to get your head around is the currency of the country you're in and if you're like me and maths is not your strong point XE is perfect for you. So on the screen here is a list of all the currencies I've used. I've changed it to £100 and straight away I converts everything into local currency as £100. This is handy for not just being in the country but when you're talking to other travellers and you say a certain thing costs this much, you can convert it into their currency and makes it a lot easier and at the bottom of the screen you've got add currency and you can add as many as you want as a traveler a backpacker you will be wanting to move around the country that you're within and the best way to find out how to get around is Rome to Rio this app once you put in your details and on the screen is the last journey I took before I came back home um, and already you can see it's got various bus routes that you can click on and you can book 
sometimes information is not up to date but it can give you a rough idea of prices and timings it will take to get from a to b now this app will also list any train services that are available if there's a railway service in the country and um, if the journey is close enough it will also add taxis getting around a city or a town that you're in you need a map and the map app that i use is maps.me this is an offline map you do not need a sim card you download the maps while you've got wi-fi and for me it's better than google maps apple maps offline and it works through your gps and it's the main one i've used in every single country i've ever been to when you get to a new country and uh, you have a new language to learn and i am the worst for learning any languages and i found out when i was in central america for eight months the only spanish i could speak was hello hola and that was it but the app to use is translate you download the languages through the wi-fi and you can use it offline you just press and hold you speak into it and it comes up with the sentence in the language that you're after so here's a bit of an example i'm just gonna go on to japanese and just say where is the nearest atm now i don't speak japanese so i'm assuming that's right and the only way i could find out is if i went to japan but translate is very very good the downloadable languages offline is the most popular ones so if you're going to go to a country that is not on the offline list you need to use the wi-fi or a sim card whenever i've arrived in a new city or a new town one of the first apps i look at is trip advisor now TripAdvisor has been going for many years and it's now very commercialized than it used to be but it's still handy to find out what is nearby that you can visit uh, to go exploring with this app you just load it up find out what is nearest and this is the nearest things to me in my hometown and it is quite handy just to start planning on where you're going to be going while you're on your stay in that place however there is another app which i found so useful and that is gps my city this app for major towns and cities will give you walking tours and will take you through a step-by-step -step walking tour of the place you're in giving you details about each site on the way now i've just got it on the screen now and i'm just going to put in mexico city and you can see already there's a walk tour there's this other things you can do in the city gps my city is very very useful i used it in various towns and cities within central america in obscure places that i didn't even think would have a walking tour it's very handy if you are an explorer and you want to get out and about and do not want to pay the free walking tours where you have to give a tip at the end you can do it for free there are so many apps that i have not included in this and this includes things like budget apps for instance and I needed to get the 10 out that I thought was most useful for getting to a place, looking around the place. And if you can think of any that I've missed out, if you think of any other apps that other people should know about, put in the comments below, see what we can get. And maybe I can do another video soon of the next 10 best apps you can use when backpacking. So while I go and play with my phone and maybe try and learn some Japanese along the way. If you like this video, you just gotta press the like button 
if you want to see more videos and i'm going to be doing a few more before my adventure start in a few weeks time press that subscribe button but until next time bye bye for now